paraphrase Crocodile Dundee, this is not a battery, this is a battery. Let's go and take a look. This is what one megawatt hours of battery storage looks like. 192 of these individual 5.3 kilowatt hour battery packs. So each one of these battery packs is neatly positioned in this rack mount system. Each pack connected in series in a set of 12 with an individual battery management system at the top and then the BMS with the comms linking between each one. Each battery management system is connected back to a Sunsync 50 kilowatt inverter. So there's eight inverters supporting 16 racks of batteries. And the inverters are rather neatly housed in this. The power end of the battery, along with all those essential grid and load connections and everything else you'd need to possibly manage the electronics in this unit. It even has its own built-in fire suppression system and a security system. And you'll need one of those because this unit is 395,000 pounds. So let's just take a while to let that sink in while we're in this beautifully air-conditioned battery compartment. Why would you want to spend that level of investment on battery storage? Well, this is very much the Swiss army knife of energy storage because it has so many different applications. If you've got a large solar installation, you can obviously store your excess energy to maximize your own self-consumption. So avoiding exporting power back to the grid. And obviously with storage comes the option to trade the energy markets, buying in abundant renewables at low prices to avoid peak time energy supplies. Or perhaps you're working on a site with a constrained power supply and the cost of a grid connection upgrade would pale into insignificance compared to the cost of battery storage, along with that long lead time to try and get that cable dragged in from the nearest substation. Of course, once you have storage, you can also play in the wider energy market, trading power and supporting the grid with grid support services as well. And of course, you could use this as an uninterruptible power supply to provide essential backup to a site or to replace a diesel generator for those emergency supplies. Now, before we leave this battery chamber, there's a little engineering hack here you can see that line there to check that the bolts haven't loosened in transit. And transit is pretty important. This unit ships from the factory ready to drop in on site and just needs those final cable connections and you're up and running. But it's not a case of just taking a shipping container, shoehorning some batteries and inverters in there. This container has been specially designed for its purpose of battery storage and will handle the rigors of shipping across the seas and at road transport to site. So we're here at the connection end where you bring in those cables ready for that connection, but we haven't spoken about how much load this can support. The one megawatt hour battery here can support a continuous load of 400 kilowatts. But perhaps one megawatt hour of storage capacity and a 400 kilowatt load is still a little bit spicy for your requirements. The good news is the Innergator series from Sunsync also has some different variants, starting at 0.2 megawatts and a 0.5 megawatt storage capacity, supporting 100 kilowatt loads and 250 kilowatt loads respectively. It's been great to get up close finally to a container sized storage solution. But what if you're having problems with EV charging on site? Well, I recommend you take a look at our next video, which explores what's going on in this box behind me.